Welcome to my garden here at Trow. Um, we are Team Montrose and we've really, really, really missed you. Um, so we're here today to try and put together some sort of podcast. Can't promise you it will be polished and I can't promise it you uh, it will be perfect, but we'll see where it takes us. Hi everybody, missed you. Look forward to seeing you again very soon, we hope. Hopefully I uh, see some of you walking around as well because we go around every um, uh, Sunday at the time we normally have services uh, to just walk around the estate and pray. Hello everybody. Yeah, it's great to, for us to be together and um, to know that you're watching us. It really feels that we're all together again. And good morning from me. <laughs> <laughs> or afternoon or evening or whenever you're watching this. <laughs> So I think for the last 12 weeks, three months, I think we've all felt very alone um, in one way or another. And I think some people more than others, some people have been completely on their own for 12 weeks and other people have had family around them. Um, I think the thing that's um, uh, struck me the most is even during the times where I have been on my own, and I have been very blessed, I've been quite involved with the food bank so I have been getting out and about and I've been seeing people from a distance so I've never felt truly locked up but I think what has struck me during the times when I am on my own I am on my own at home or in the cellar or wherever I'm on my own is that actually we're not alone and God is always with us and I think sometimes we forget that or sometimes we ignore that but that is just the, one of the promises that we have in God, that he is always with us and we are never truly on our own. Come you dreadful people, come to praise the one true God. Come as many, come as one to praise the one true God. verse in Hebrews which I'm going to read from the Message Bible. Since God has assured us I will never let you down, never walk off and leave you. God is there ready to help. That sort of verse has really helped me the last 12 weeks because I found it very hard to stay close to God 
but he hasn't left me. And I think there's the two different things, whether God is keeping me or whether it's up to me to keep God and actually it's God keeping me, not the other way around. And he has kept me, he's kept Alan, he's kept our family, despite everything that's been happening. Yeah, I, I absolutely love that, that verse. It's, it's so encouraging that God will never leave us or forsake us. During this time of um, isolation and lockdown, because I, I suppose because I've been on my own as well, um, there have been days when, when I've just felt low, really low, and couldn't even pick up my Bible or pray. And all I've been able to say is, Lord, I know you're with me. And if I'm outside and I say that, each time, the way God, God talks to me that in those lonely times is, I will see a robin. Now I know some of us can see robins every day, but when I see a robin, it's like God just, it's just like he's grabbing hold of my hand and saying, I'm here, don't worry, I see you. And it's so comforting. And I know he doesn't mind if we're not praying or reading the Bible too much. He understands us. And, and it's just so encouraging because the next day you wake up and first thing on my mind is him. So, yeah. Hi, I'm lucky enough not to have, have, not to, have had to actually stay indoors. Um, so I've been able to get out for daily exercise, cycling. But even so, I've been certainly been missing stuff during the lockdown phase, just simple things like going out for a coffee or something like that. Um, but while I'm cycling, I very often just thank God you are still with me. Thank you that I can do this.
We always have the Lord's Prayer, so we'll pray it now. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our um, unprofessional attempt at a podcast. Um, we didn't promise you polished and we didn't promise you perfect. And I think that's probably what you've ended up with. Um, we've definitely enjoyed getting together as a team and being able to see each other again. And we really can't wait to, to get in, into more contact with you guys. Um, we really have missed you a lot. Um, you'll notice um, one really important member of our team isn't here. Um, Mike, unfortunately, is still at home. Um, he's having to shield. He um, has another few weeks of that, I believe, left. But he does send you all his love and he does really, really miss you all. Um, so let us know what you think of this podcast. Um, if it's nice and if it's not, just keep it to yourself. Um, <laughs> And love and blessings to you all. Oh, and don't forget, Al and Ann, prayer walking, Sunday, uh, about four o'clock, you'll see them around the estate. Um, go over and say hello, but just don't stand too close. <laughs> Show. Sure.